Good evening, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Today is Thursday, February the 17th. I'm going to do a reading for uh, the energy for the collective that's out here right now. I'm going to just jump right into it. Uh, if you feel inspired by any of my readings or if they resonate with you in a way in which you'd like to donate, my PayPal and Cash App is in the description link. If that's not an option and you still would like to bless the reader, then hit the like and subscribe button and send me positive energy. Keep me encouraged. Okay. So with that, please funnel through me clearly and directly for the intended collective, the energy and information needed, and protect it from outside influences and low vibrational entities that will seek to confuse and distort the divine messages. Please allow the intended listener to extract what is needed to put them on their highest path for their highest good. Please use my tongue to channel the right words to deliver this message as plain and as simple so as to be understood with clarity and provide insight on their guided pathways in this lifetime or maybe even the next. Amen and Amen Ra. Let's go. Why you told me to use this deck? <laughs> they said no. Start off with that deck today. All right. Well, you know what they say, just this one. Okay, the nine of swords. That's backstab and betrayal. Whew. Okay, so uh, to begin today, I have the six of cups reversed. Uh, so this could be a situation that is developing right now as we speak uh, today uh, in the past few days or perhaps uh, could be developing over the next few days, few hours, few minutes. Um, we have um, the Justice card reversed here. It could be Libra energy or uh, 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 someone feels like uh, they didn't get justice or fairness in a situation. Uh, then we have, oh, two, no wonder, two swords. So we got the ten of swords reverse, which is the ultimate backstabbing and betrayal. And then we got the nine of swords, which is someone that is bound up. If you remember yesterday, we, you know, we, we had Attica up in here. Uh, the, the reading I did yesterday, you know, we had Attica and um, Shawshank Redemption. Somebody was stuck up in <laughs> Rikers Island. All them swords was on the table. Nothing but swords. I had six of swords, ten of swords, nine of swords. Somebody is, somebody's bound up. Now we got Nebehet reversed here, which is a high priestess card. Okay, this is Piscean energy. And it also represents having or the lack of intuition. And the four of uh, pentacles reversed. Hmm, okay, so clarify that, uh, let's see. Clarify uh, the justice card, please. Clarify on pool reverse, please. Clarify that. Okay, sorry. I see you did try to. Okay, so I have um, to start. Okay, of pentacles. So I have a knight of uh, pentacles that is um, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, that's Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, Earth energy there. Capricorn reverse, though. Hmm. Okay, that could be someone that uh, feels like they didn't get any justice and they lack structure and discipline in perhaps something that they were doing. Uh, please continue to clarify on pool reverse. Justice reverse, clarify justice reverse. Yeah, it's the queen of swords, okay? We got the queen of swords here, okay? So it could be uh, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Someone feels like they didn't get any justice perhaps in a situation. You know, and it's also a very narcissistic card. When the Queen of Swords comes in the reverse, it's a person that is uh, very calculating, uh, very uh, meticulous, uh, but they're very low vibrational. They're, uh, they're lying, they're deceitful, they're narcissistic, they have no emotions, you know, they just do. 
you know, they just do things uh, in a cutting, planning, and, and, and together here with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, uh, it looks like the plans that they had, like I said yesterday, some people are one dimensional and they can only think and move uh, in one element. So if this is indeed an air sign, you know, uh, it's right that the Knight of Pentacles, because they, they're very careful in planning uh, and using their logic mind to plan whatever they did. But because they're one dimensional and only can think one way, you know, uh, they lack the structure and the discipline to get done what they needed to get, whatever it was that they needed to get done. You know, I, I talked about this before, you know, people that are only one dimensional that try to go after people that are very high spiritually because these people don't understand, you know, uh, they think they come up with the perfect plan to take somebody out. You know, like uh, I, I referenced David and Goliath in the reading I did yesterday, you know, and I, it was an air sign, you know, it was li a Libra and it was someone that is also a Gemini Cancer cusp, you know, and they, uh, you know, their gangster was Goliath. They felt like, like David and Goliath in the Bible, they felt like their gangster was Goliath. You know, they felt like, you know, using their logic brain, they could defeat David, okay? Uh, because David was a little guy. Maybe David was about 5'2", okay? Say Goliath was about Shaquille O'Neal's size. So they're using their logic mind, you know, thinking, I can defeat this opponent because they're smaller than me. Because logically, that would make sense. You know, but they didn't understand, you know, you're smaller, you can move faster. You know, the blood gets to the brain quicker. You think faster. <laughs> you can stick and move a lot quicker. You know, your aim might be a little bit better. You know, the little arms move quicker, more precise. And then if you're, if you're someone that has guides and spirits around you that are helping you, uh, they directed that thing and slew Goliath. Their Goliath gangster, they felt like, was the fact that they had a title they felt like they had um they felt like they had uh um uh some type of they they felt like they had something over uh little david because you know they had access to resources they had a title uh they had a conservative view you know uh they were accepted in a community you know that they felt like was high class you know like the caste system in east india you know, uh, they, they just felt like their Goliath was gangster. And in their logical mind, it would only make sense that I can defeat you because, you know, one, I'm Goliath. I'm bigger than you. I have more money than you, more resources than you. You know, um, I have a conservative view. I have a title and a reputation. People will believe me. So, you know, they didn't think uh, anything about defeating little David, but David showed them, you know, I got the strength of a thousand angels, 10,000 angels, 144,000 behind me, you know. David had to show Goliath, you know, it, 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 you, you can only stick and move, you know, in that one element, thinking in your logic mind because of what you have. But David had to show Goliath, you know, I am a spiritual being. Even if I'm 5'2", it don't matter, you know, because I could stick and move in the water, on air, on land. You know, that's what he said, you know. So that's why I say sometimes low vibrational people that only are able to function in one type of uh, uh, element, they don't see, they, they think, they always underestimate their prey because they don't understand that spiritual people, you know, oftentimes, especially if it's a person that has gone through an ascension and has already gone through a lot of trials and tribulations, you know, that person had to by force and, and, and by by calamity and towers in their life, they had to learn how to navigate the spiritual, the mental, and the physical. They had to learn how to navigate, you know, it, all types of situations in their life. So they could beat Goliath because Goliath only knows how to fight in one element. And Goliath lacks experience. Moving right along. Clarify that Ten of Swords reverse. Clarify the Ten of Swords reverse. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Okay. All right, here we go. I said, this is a magician. Okay. This is a magician reverse, though. Ooh, someone's magic didn't work. <laughs> Somebody's magic didn't work. Somebody better get their money back. Oh, man. And whoever this is, 
whoever this is playing in magic, I wouldn't do it no more if I were you. This person looked like they dying from a venereal disease, whoever this is. I mean, look at their skin. The skin is not just white. The skin is powder white. You know, this person looks like they've been dead for a week. <laughs> that bird about the feast. You see that bird flying toward them about the feast? You know, somebody has had their hands in some magic and didn't know what they was doing. And it, it looks like that all them arrows came right back to that person and, went, and, and poisoned them. Let me tell you something. A person, a toxic person will poison themselves. You know, you don't realize, you know, what you're dealing with sometime until you've had enough experience dealing with a certain type of an energy. If you have toxic family members, friends, uh, just uh, a, a toxic mate in your life, toxic people in your life, sometimes you don't realize every time I'm done talking to this person, I feel drained and my emotions and my body, everything about me is out of whack. Every time I get off the phone with this person, they gaslight me. You know, they, they get me into an emotional space where I'm all riled up and they feel good after they, they, they let it all out because, you know, energy can't be destroyed. It can only be transferred. A to how, you, how, you, how you get a toxic person, you know, that you're in contact with, you go no contact. If you have a contact person, if you have a uh, toxic person in your life, when you go no contact with them completely, guess what? They have to find somebody else to let that uh, toxicity out on. Hopefully not their children, but oftentimes they do. Or the people in their household, if they haven't cut them off also. And if everybody cuts them off, guess what? Then all that toxicity that they have in their, in their uh, emotional body, in their physical body, you know, their esoteric body, or all that toxic energy that they have, you know, it poisons themselves and they become ill and sick over time. That's what, that's what this person did right here. You know, they become sick. You poison yourself because if, if, if you don't have nobody to transfer that toxic energy to, that's why don't, if you deal with toxic people, no longer answer the phone, block them so they can't send you text messages. Because even if you don't respond to the text, if you read that text message and it affects you emotionally and, and throws your body or throws your energy centers out of whack, they have released that energy onto you. It is important to block all communication from toxic people. If it's a child's father or a child's, uh, a child's mother that you have to contact that is toxic, then you contact them back and forth through email, stick straight to the point. And you don't, um, and you keep it at minimum, absolute minimum words and absolute minimum contact. People out here become sick because they poison themselves because they have no one to transfer that energy onto that toxic energy. I've seen it happen. I've seen people become very ill once you start cutting them off, you know, and they have no one else to transfer that energy to. I'm telling you, I've, I, I hate to say it, I've seen people become ill with all kind of tumors and cancer once you cut them off and they become, uh, and they're toxic all by themselves and they have no one to transfer it to or release it to. Clarify that uh, four of uh, pentacles. Clarify that four of pentacles right there, please. Clarify that four of pentacles. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we have uh, the seven of cups here. Hmm. Yeah, this person is wishing whatever they did, whatever whatever they've done in the past, they've done a lot of different things. Let's see what they did. It's reverse. Oh, or they could actually be trying to reverse. That's it. Yeah, this person's trying to reverse the magic that they did because it's making them sick. Thank you. This person is trying to reverse all these cups. All this magic that they did over the moon, you know, it's, it's coming back on them now and it's making them sick. That's why the spirit had me talk about transferring toxic energy. This person is becoming sick right now. I'm worried. Whoever this person is, they're becoming physically sick in their body. You know, they were out here, you know, um, they were doing this to all kind of different people. You know, they were doing a lot of magic. They were doing a lot of magic. And then I see a woman here in the background, whoever this is, this might be who they were doing magic on. But either way, all the different things, I have a scorpion, a snake, I have a cobra, a bird, a stork, all kind of 
crazy things that they might have been using, all different types of magic that they were concocting and spells that they were using and spiritual practitioners. But they ended up poisoning themselves. So now they're trying to reverse the mag magic because it's affecting them. They might have sent it at someone that's protected. That's why you don't play around with magic. You don't know what you're doing. You don't play around with magic if you don't know what you're doing. Clarify that, uh, uh, clarify the high priestess, uh, Nebehet reverse. Clarify Nebehet reverse, please. Is she supposed to be reversed? The six of swords reverse. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. They were doing magic and with the six of swords, now they are completely stuck up in that head. They, they might be a little off, a little crazy right now. This could be making them a little bit crazy right now. You know, all these swords around, you know. They feel backstabbed and betrayed, you know. They feel all bound up. They got a lot of secrets. You know, they now they have a lot of enemies. They're having financial issues, you know. And then we got the Six of Swords reversed here, you know. They're up in their head, you know. Uh, the Six of Swords card usually uh, represents moving on from something, moving uh, to, to greener pastures, moving on uh, to calmer waters. But in the reverse, you know, this person is stuck. This person is mentally stuck right now with all this, and they're sick and mentally stuck with the magic that they've been doing. That's why, you know, we have the magician reversed out here, the ten of swords reversed. We got the high priestess reversed out here, okay? And the six of swords. Because this person, their, ma their own magic is making them crazy right now. Oh, man. Who is this? Who is this? Who is Nebehet reversed? Who is this? Who is this? Clarify who is uh, Nebehet reverse. Who is it? Who is it? This is a very immature person that now uh, might be having trouble getting a new start. Their finances have been affected, like I said. This is a page of pentacles reversed right here. Someone's finances have been affected by this. Now before, uh, they felt like they didn't get justice uh, and this came out, the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius energy. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah, that's what I said. It affected their money. This is the uh, Ace of Cups. This is going to be a very short reading because I feel like this is just picking up from uh, what we were going over yesterday. Someone is losing money right now. This is happening right now with the Six of Cups reversed here. This is happening in real time. Okay, the Six of Cups upright represents uh, usually making an offer, you know, to someone, uh, whether it's an offer of energy exchange, it doesn't have to be a love offer, to someone from the past. It represents someone that you're related to, someone that you already know, friend, foe, whoever, okay? Uh, but in the reverse, uh, it, it's kind of like a movie reel, you know, uh, thinking back to the, thinking about back to the past. So in the reverse, uh, it's supposed to be like real time, you know, possibly something that is, you know, unfolding as we speak. So this is somebody losing money. They're losing their finances right now. Their finances are bound. Yeah, I was clarifying. I was clarifying the um, nine of swords reversed. I'm sorry, the nine of swords here, which uh, represents someone that is being bound up, and I have the ace of uh, cups reversed. Oh, okay. This is not the Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Cups. But this is somebody that's still blocked up emotionally. This person is emotionally blocked up right now. Their chakras are all, their energy centers are all out of whack, which is what is going to invite sickness and disease in. You know, I, I mean, that's not a good thing. I'm not happy about that. But you got to be careful. That's why I talked in, you know, my other reading, uh, you know, about people that become jealous of other people, 
the energy that you put into observing someone, when you start to feel that jealous energy, you know, coming upon you, you know, if you start to feel it, don't just sit there in it if you know that's a temptation for you. Because before you know it, you know, a lower vibrational entity, you know, will see your energy and attach to it. Because they'll be like, oh, that's a nice cozy home for me to get into. Because that vibration is the same vibration as me. It's like a nice warm bed for fleas, you know, and an entity will attach to you. You know, uh, it is normal for a human being to become jealous sometime or envy, a little envious. But what you have to do is check that. If you, if you feel those emotions, those, it is a human emotion. If you feel those emotions coming over you because of someone in your family, a friend, or just a perfect stranger, you know, you need to check yourself immediately before an entity gets attached to you. Because once an entity attaches itself to you, you know, you might, that entity might jump into you and have you do something stupid. Like do black magic on somebody without thinking about the consequences. Or do something illegal that's going to get you uh, wrapped up in a legal situation. Or ruin your life or come back on you. You know, before you, you're not even thinking about it. You, you're getting so caught up and worked up in your jealousy and envy of someone that you may admire. That inspires you. You know, that instead of being inspired by them, instead you become jealous, envious, and it turns to hate. And before you know it, an entity attaches itself to you and you jump out there and do something to try to hurt, destroy, or hinder, or bind that person, you know, without even thinking about it in a jealous rage. And, and now you got an entity attachment, you did something stupid that gets you in trouble with the law, and now you're even more low vibrational. Now you're stuck in more of a depression. You know, you, you, now you're in a lower place than you were in before, which guess what? It invites seven more devils. Seven more entities to come in and attach to you now Be because you've opened your doors. You know, it's, now it's plenty of low vibrational energy uh, for y'all to feed off of me because now I'm depressed and I'm putting out this uh, depression energy, you know, to feed. I'm, I'm calling entities and, you know, uh, it, it's feeding time like piranhas. You know, I got plenty of depression energy all around me. So now any entity can come and enter. And more and more are going to come into you and attach to you. You know, if you're a high vibrational person, you ever notice how uh, sometimes you can go to work or you can just go into a store or a place you have never been before, you know, where no one has ever seen you or someone that doesn't even know you and they immediately get disgusted by you. I mean, disgusted, the look on their face. You know, their, their, their head just and their eyes start following you around with a look of disgust. They roll in their eyes at you. They, they just completely despise you. That is not them. That is a low vibrational entity attachment that you have disturbed. Because when you're walking around with and in your light, you know, the devils and entities that are sitting in other people, you know, they start to feel your vibration coming a mile away. Don't y'all remember uh, in the story of your Jesus? Don't you remember how uh, when Jesus went to cast the demons out, they knew him. They saw him coming from miles away. Them, them devils started getting worried like, oh, Lord, here this nigga come. God damn it. <laughs> here he come. I hope he not about to make us leave. You know, he said, what is your name? And the person said, Legion, because we are many. We are many entities. We are many uh, 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 vessels out here that lost the right to have a human body because of the bullshit we did when we were in a human body. So uh, the only way we can feel alive is when we can jump inside of someone that does have a human body. That's the only time that we can feed and have and it feel like we're alive and have uh, uh, some type of energy. Otherwise, we're just floating around, you know, looking for shit to do. Them entities could see Jesus coming from a mile away. Every time they came, they're like, oh, Lord, the demons noticed them before the person did. And they would speak out to them. They would always speak out to them. They'd be like, oh, Lord, what are you doing here? Are you going to make us leave? Are you going to kick us out? <laughs> You're going to kick us out this person's body? This is just a suggestion. And you should take it if this resonates with you. You are a human being. You may feel jealous at times. Jealousy is a normal human emotion. 
and, and, and it's part of your lesson. It's part of the lessons, the many lessons that we all come here for. You know, it's nothing to be ashamed of if you feel jealous uh, from time to time of something or someone. That's a normal human emo um, emotion. It's how you deal with that. You know, it's something that you might need to work on. It's a reflection to you. This is something uh, within myself. Uh, I see something that I like that I feel like I don't have within myself. So it's something within myself I need to work on. If you feel that emotion coming, if you know you're a jealous person and that emotion is coming over on you, before you get to that next step or fall into that vibration, what you do is remove yourself from that person's energy. If you're jealous because uh, you like the way they look or, or, or you like the way they dress or something that they have or they have a, a energy and a personality that you're jealous of, you know, before you fall into a lower vibration, take three steps back energetically and physically and turn your ass around and walk the other direction. Get out their energy so you won't be tempted. If somebody tempts you and you start being overcome with those envious feelings about anything, stop staring at them. Stop listening to them. Stop being in their energy because that is a temptation for you. If you know Dunkin' Donuts is a problem for you and, and, and you're on the verge of diabetes, you know, and Dunkin' Donuts, do not drive down the street where the Dunkin' Donuts is, you know, because you know that my, that's your weakness. For some, it's Krispy Kreme, and I understand, you know, the, some of them glazed donuts back in the day, you know, you could take 10 of them to the head at one time because they were soft and warm, and they have an alert that goes off at the top of the building woo, 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 when, when they come out the oven. You know, certain things are a temptation for you. What do you need to do? You need to remove yourself from that energy. If you're in a, com a, a monogamous uh, relationship, you know, with someone, you know, and you don't want to cheat and you know, a particular person, you know, really turns you on and a particular person is a big temptation for you, whether it be your baby mother, your baby father, whatever the case may be, do not put yourself in a position that is compromising. If they say, Hey, can you come help me with something uh, in the bedroom? And that person is a temptation for you. Obviously, that's a temptation and that's somewhere you don't need to go. So if you're a jealous person, when you get around someone or something that makes you to start to have those feelings of jealousy, which will lead to other negative emotions and possibly actions, remove yourself from that energy because that is a temptation for you. Until you can overcome that or find a way to work that energy out, move, remove yourself, cover your eyes. Uh, if you're watching someone's video, go to another video. Don't look at their video anymore. You know, uh, if someone makes you feel that way, you know, walk away from them. Go to the other end of the room. Find something to do. Carry a book. Listen to music. Get on your phone. Play a game. Sing a song. Whistle a tune. God damn. I'm just trying to tell you because a lot of people end up on this path. You know, you know, I, I like watching my favorite tarot readers, you know, and these stories keep coming out over and over about people doing low vibrational shit because they're jealous. Instead of working on your life to do something to improve yourself, you know, maybe, maybe you want to work on yourself to gain weight. Maybe you want to work on yourself to lose weight. Maybe you want to work on your skin to clear it up. Maybe you want to work on uh, uh, just something, anything. Maybe you feel empty on the inside because you're a shallow person, because you feel like you don't know a lot uh, of anything that's in depth. Pick up a damn book. You know, find something educational to watch on uh, uh, YouTube or um, some type of uh, social media. You know, it's so many things to get into that are self-improvement where you can do things to improve yourself. If you're jealous of someone's intelligence, go find something you're interested in and study so that you will have something interesting to say in a conversation instead of feeling uh, jealous of that person and wanting to challenge them. All right, I've been in that energy enough. All right, so this person now is closed emotionally. Who is this? Tell I barely got it out, Jesus. <laughs> All right, so we have a knight of wands reversed yeah this is the knight of wands reversed oh man oh man the, the knight of wands reversed here 
Okay, so this is someone that might have recently become single. This is someone who, uh, from all the magic that was being done to uh, bring chaos and confusion in someone's life and possibly uh, stop someone from having love, stop someone's finances, now this person has become single. This person now is single. This is the Knight of Wands, you know? This person is closed emotionally. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. <laughs> yeah, they're losing their money too. They lost a lot. They invested a lot of money, you know, into trying to bring somebody down. They, they invested, this is the ace of pentacles I was talking about. Now they are emotionally closed and they, they invested a lot of money into trying to, trying to bring chaos into someone's life. Uh, what was the motivation though, spirit? What, what was their reason? What was their reason for doing this? What was the reason? Because they, work, they worked hard at something? What, what did they work hard at? That's the eight of, uh, this is the eight of, um, oh, this is the eight of wands, not pentacles. Okay. Interesting. Okay, they're wounded. Hmm. Clarify the eight of wands. Yeah. Knight of swords reversed. Oh, Okay. Because they're wounded from, from all the lies that were told. The, yeah, this is the Knight of Swords reverse. They told a whole lot of lies. Yeah, that's what, this is what I'm talking about. If you were in a state of jealousy over someone. And you sat up here and started a smear campaign and started lying on this person and getting a whole bunch of people riled up. You couldn't, once you got all those people riled up, if, they, if these people were in your family or, or close uh, constituents that you're close to uh, in your community, you can't walk away from that because people are not going to forget what you said. You know, especially if you, you got an army against this person. You got everybody riled up against this person that you were waging a war against. So you had to keep up your lies. So you might have had to start using tactics to try to prove uh, to try to prove what you were saying was the truth about this person. So you might have went on a whole campaign trying to sabotage this person so that no one would know you were lying about them. So it would look like you were telling the truth. That That's exactly what it is. You told a whole bunch of lies to family, friends, and a community about a person. And all these people got riled up and upset with you. Oh, this person is horrible based on what you're saying. But when they check this person out, you know, this person's actions did not check out with what you were saying about them. So you had to wage a whole warfare against the person you were attacking and jealous of to try to bring them down, to make them look like the person you describe them to be because you being narcissistic wanted to control people's perception of a person that you were jealous of amen amen you wanted to control the image and the perception of somebody that you were jealous of so after you told all those lies about them you you had to follow up because all these people you talked to they started following up they were like, this is an awful person. Let me see how bad this person is. And it didn't add up or make sense. So you had to wage war against this person because you wanted to control how everybody viewed this person. All because you were jealous and entities got into your body and into your spirit and took over because you're possessed. Please finish this reading. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Let's just reading. Repeating a cycle. It's a world card repeating a cycle. Oh, y'all can't see these. Sorry. Oh, can you? Here you go. 
these are the two cards that came out the two of pentacles and uh, the world card okay and it's reverse okay yeah okay give me a few more cards to finish this reading two more cards yeah this is going to be your life this is about to be your life very the, the four of cups someone that's very unhappy now with <laughs> someone that's very unhappy now with where they are yeah the three of pentacles one more card and then i'll pull that uh priestess of light oracle card like you said one more card to finish this reading one more card okay that's it that was four cards so we got the two of pentacles here with the world card reversed the four of cups and the three and the three of pentacles in the past i'm looking at this two of pentacles here in the past you know you had you had an option i'm looking at two options here you have someone whether this is a relative to you a friend you know someone you grew up with you know someone you work with or whatever the case may be whomever it is and i know this is picking up on the energy from yesterday this is a gemini cancer cuss a libra and uh it was also an aries involved and a leo okay that's why the three of pentacles is here that's why you, you got the three of pentacles here uh all the people that were working together they're no longer working with you anymore these people don't want anything to do with you now because you're you, you've cursed yourself you've cursed yourself and now and and now you have poisoned yourself with all the toxicity and the magic that was done it's poisoning your body and these uh people that were working with you uh, with the three of pentacles reverse have all scattered away because they don't want to get hit with that karma They, they don't want to get hit even though they they're gonna deal with some karma too because they shouldn't have joined in You had an option with that two of pentacles there You had two options when you started feeling the envy and jealousy for this person that you admire that inspires you You had the option of being inspired by that person and doing things to improve self improve your own life or to see if you could gather other people and start a smear campaign and a spiritual war against that person to try to destroy them because you thought that that would make you look better and feel better because if you can knock out the competition you know then you'd be the only one standing and everyone would recognize and admire you instead but the, the the problem with that the problem with that is wh when you're possessed by an entity that has you doing a whole bunch of stupidity out of a low vibrational jealous feeling you know that you sat up there and fed you fed the wrong wolf you fed the wrong wolf yeah that's what it is that's why this two of pentacles is here you fed the bad wolf instead of the good wolf you know you fed the wrong wolf you fed the jealousy wolf and that jealousy wolf took over your whole body and your actions and your mind and before you know it you were paying spiritual practitioners to do death spells on somebody this uh pisces high priestess you were doing candle magic spells you were paying people to gang stalk and harass and to block love in this person's life you know, you were working with a whole lot of people here or, and these people, you know, you spread your toxic energy to other people that were on the same vibration. It was a Leo that was also jealous, that was inspired by someone, but instead of just being inspired by them, you know, and, and trying to make improvements in their life, they took, they took actions against the person too. See, because those demons like to spread. They like when you bring other people, they love it when you bring other people into the mix. You know, because then they invite more of their entity friends of the same vibration because they're like, oh my God, we got like four more bodies here. We got four more bodies here, y'all. Call the whole family. 
The whole family of demons. Call all the legions. We are all eaten tonight. So you got all these other people involved here now. Okay? And you fed the wrong wolf. Instead of being inspired and doing things, feeding the good wolf, you know, that would have had you reading books, you know, uh, developing your personality more, focusing on things that you like to do and becoming very good at it. You know, whatever your insecurity is, you know, uh, work on yourself, redirect all that energy within. But you didn't feed that wolf. You fed the jealousy wolf instead. And then you fed the entities and then you fed it to the people around you and the people that you brought into your bullshit. So, so now because of that, you're getting ready to repeat a cycle. If this was a generational curse in your family, that your mother or father, you know, already has gone through in the past and what you're about to walk in the exact same footsteps. You're, you're about to repeat a generational curse. You're walking in the same footsteps as your mother is what they're telling me. You're literally about to become your mother, bitter, alone, upset by yourself. I hope you don't abuse your children and pour that toxicity into them. But you are repeating a cycle now because like I said, you fed the wrong wolf. You're not, you're not happy with your life. You know, you're not happy with the energy because look at this man's eyes. Look at his eyes. This man is possessed with entities. He's gone. He's like a zombie. Look at him. Does he look like, does it look like anybody is home? It, it, he's like a zombie. This is how you are right now. You're completely, uh, uh, entities have taken over your mind and your body. You're not going to get up and move until the ent entities say, get up and move. Go find something low vibrational to do so we can eat and feast. Go find somebody negative to drink with or to smoke with or to talk shit to to gossip with go find somebody of the same vibration that you're on right now so uh, because we need some more to eat and we got more entities we want to invite in this is a zombie right now that is dead on the inside this is you right now because you've got all these spirits inside of you legions is what they're saying they've taken over you you know, and these other people that were with you, you know, hopefully they're, hopefully they're feeding the right wolf because if they're feeding the wrong wolf, I, I, oh, they've scattered. Yeah. They've gone away. <clears throat> All the people that were in this with you have gone away from you. They don't want any more involvement, even though, yeah, I know that's right. And this is the truth. Yeah. This is the truth. All the people you were working with are scattering. Because they see that black magic reversing and they don't want it to hit them, but they're going to still get their karma. You know, because everybody in this case was feeding the wrong wolf. They were, wa they, they were watering the wrong plants. They were watering weeds instead of watering the plants in the garden. They were watering weeds instead. Okay. And yeah, this is the Ace of Swords here. This is the truth. Okay. So now uh, they did want me to read one Priestess of Light oracle card interestingly enough i have no idea what i'm gonna say <laughs> i might have to read for the book but i guess we'll see what happens okay uh all right go ahead oh shoot see they put it right on my arm setting boundaries there it is all right that's what they want that's what you want that's what you get let's see if something comes or if i have to read it setting setting boundaries Threshold protection and honor. You're psychic. Whoever I'm talking to, you are psychic. You know, tigers represent psychic energy. Tigers represent psychic energy. The boundaries that needed to be set were with yourself. Do you remember how I just said a little while ago, when you feel that temptation of jealousy coming over you, just like if you had a temptation to cheat on someone or a temptation for a certain type of food and you're trying to diet, you know, you want to try to avoid, remove your energy. You don't want to keep being in the energy of something that you're tempted by that you know is not good for you. 
You, ha you have to feed the correct wolf. So you have to set boundaries on yourself. And only you know, only you know what your temptations and weaknesses are. Just be honest with yourself. If you feel weak a little bit on the inside, you know, because you know you get jealous every time you see someone with this uh, material thing or with a certain type of personality or that might have knowledge about something or, so, or they're a little bit too happy for you and it irritates, it irritates the demons in you. What you have to do, especially if you want to try to heal, you know, is set boundaries for yourself. You know, see how she has her hand up right there? You know, this is an energy I can't be in right now because it tempts me. I can't be around this person. I don't want to work around this person. I don't want to talk to this person. When this person comes in the room, I'm going to find something else to do. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to avoid this person because I am tempted to become, I, I, when I'm around this person, I feel jealous. I'm inspired by them, but my feelings of jealousy overcome me. So I need to set boundaries for myself. I have to set boundaries for myself so that I can control myself. That's the first thing you have to do. And then you have to start doing positive things. Say positive affirmations. Start meditating. You have to raise your vibration so you can vibrate those low vibrational entities up out of you. You can bind them and cast them out. You can. But in order to do that, you have to raise your vibration. It's like turning the heat up on them motherfuckers. When something vibrates faster, you know, uh, it, it's a higher vibration. Like ice, you know, when it's vibrating faster, it turns to a liquid. And the fastest, it turns to a steam. You have to vibrate higher so that the entities that are attached to you of a low vibration will no longer be able to live there. When you raise your vibration, you know, they're not on a higher vibration. So they're not going to, they're going to fall off of you. Those entities that are in you will fall off of you when you raise your vibration. And to raise your vibration right now, what you have to do is set boundaries with yourself from anything that tempts you. Anything that you would see with your eyes or hear with your ears that tempts you to do wrong towards someone that you're jealous of. That tempts you to fall into a, a lower vibrational way of thinking. That's how you're going to heal yourself. That's how you're going to raise your vibration. That's how you're going to cast and bind out those negative entities that are attaching to your mind and attaching to your energy centers and have you all bound up like you're crazy. You got all these entities attached to your body. You like the walking dead right now. You have to raise your vibration. Set those boundaries to protect yourself. I don't got to read out this book. Set those boundaries that you need, that you know you need to set in order to give yourself enough space to meditate and find something, listen to some high vibrational music, go for some walks in nature, do something with your children for God's sake. Find something to do that raises your vibration so you can get them negative low vibrational entities out of you. Before you end up completely possessed. Like this man right here. This is how you are right now. This thing has taken over your body and taken over your mind. Full of parasites. And you need to heal. You are a human being living on this earth. You're here to evolve too. You fucked up, but you are here to evolve too. You go ahead and set them boundaries. They said to still go ahead and read. So I'm going to go on and read it. 30. Find page 30. Setting boundaries. Those. Some of these numbers don't line up properly in this, but it's still a wonderful uh, oracle deck. All right, so I'm going to read for you what the book says here about this. 
The priestess of the threshold holds up her hands with palms outward, projecting a field of protective light before her. The strong and stately snow leopard, who lives a solitary life in the highest reaches of the mountains, looks over her shoulder, standing guard. This card brings you a message of both caution and encouragement. It's time to take an honest look at the boundaries you set. How do you view your importance in your own life? Are you sacrificing your priorities and self-care to priority, prioritize the needs and wishes of others? Are you putting up with demands, dismissal, marginalization, or even disrespect from the people in your life? If so, it's time to put up your hands and say enough. You may have been allowing others to cross your personal threshold and invade your time, your energy, or space, but this card is telling you that you now have the power to shift that pattern. Start to set clear limits today and make yourself a priority in your own life. Your soul deserves to be honored, yes, and you must be the first person to make that choice. When you do, you will finally receive the respect and prioritization that you have been longing for all along. Affirmation, I choose to make myself my own priority. I have the power to set boundaries and honor myself always. I am Kuan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Amen.